It all started when my mother rented uh, the NES for a full weekend. So we had like very precious time to play Rad Racer. So every minute counted. So we just played, we just played until we until we could see cars everywhere. And uh, so that, that's my first obsessive video game session. I've worked on so many cool things, but one of the most memorable ones was the, the mark and execute on Splinter Cell Conviction. I remember we, we came up with a super cool prototype very fast, but then when the time came to dress it up, that's when it became so cool to work on that feature. I worked with Dean Evans back then, who was kind of a, a realization director. So he would come to my desk, tell me uh, what he had in mind. And I remember that we had a super uh, interesting way of exchanging. Dean would just mimic the sound effects, like, okay, this is gonna fade in and out. And then he would like uh, make sounds with his mouth to describe what, the, what kind of visuals he wanted. So I want, for example, the headshot to go. So that was super cool. So he would come to my desk, just do a bunch of gestures and sounds. And, and then I was okay, got it. You sure you got it? Yeah, yeah, we got it. We're cool. So, uh, so, so it was super nice. So we went. I remember that time when we went to the uh, the mocap studio and we directed the the actor that was in the suit. And Dean would just give all the the direction about the signature moves that he wanted. And I, as a gameplay programmer, my job was to to really make sure that we covered all the angles that would make that that feature really look kick-ass in in every kind of of, of environment. Having done all that, I remember when it was finally revealed. I believe it was at E3 for the first time, but all the press was, was just raving about the feature. I remember all the posters, all the, the articles, the press articles with the, with the signature poses that came from that feature. It was, uh, was such a great, uh, great moment and a great achievement. Uh, made it memorable. I've been doing this for the last 11 years and I've never been bored, not even once. Not one minute, nada. I love my job.